was that in 1990, just after F.W. de Klerk makes his opening parliament speech, which I thought was an important time to look at because although we make a lot of films about apartheid in South Africa, and you know there's a lot of narratives, uh, not just in film, there's a lot of stories. I mean, it's, it's basically our, our main like master narrative that South Africans is apartheid and dealing with post-apartheid politics. The government has taken a firm decision to release Mr. Mandela unconditionally. I don't think it's often that we actually look at that speech in 1990 as the sort of moment of the conception of this rainbow nation myth, which is really, as we've seen in, in the past few years in South Africa, really started to crumble and, and has been necessary to reassess a lot of our post-apartheid politics. Um, actually. So that's kind of the reason I chose to set the film in, in this time period, because I think one of the ways in which we can assess our current um, political state is actually to look at why we've been behaving a certain way for so long and sort of assess, reassess that moment in which it began. conception of this film was when I visited Carlitz in 2012 I think for the first time and I actually went to Redstone Hill which is where we're shooting sort of the climax of the film. Um, and it's a very interesting place because that kind of red rock doesn't really exist in the rest of this region and it kind of has a bit of a Jurassic feel about it and I was very interested in this idea of a place where time just kind of stands still and that's one of the main sort of thematic considerations of the film is is playing with this idea of time that, you know, obviously although it feels like time moves for us, um, in like the broader sense of things, time is actually moving very slowly. And so when you look at something like apartheid and how things are meant to sort of change post-apartheid, what I thought was um, sort of the connection that I made with this space and this mountain pass was that yeah, time just has this quality to it where even though you sort of feel like it should be changing, it doesn't, it doesn't really, like, things don't really change the way they're supposed to. The farmhouse itself, I mean, this front section, which is where we shoot the final scene, um, which is obviously a scene that takes place in the future. Um, the, so the front section of the house was actually added on. And that's one of the things I thought was interesting about this location is it is a very old farmhouse and it has these beautiful old thick walls and really that feeling of like the clean career and um, like dark, you know, very, very dark interiors and this very, very bright exterior. And I love that you can see that even just in, in like any of the rooms without even us having to do much with lighting. <laughs> The casting process was fantastic. Um, my casting director was Krista Schamberger, who has worked on a lot of um, international productions and a lot of South African films. Um, and she had a wonderful assistant as well, who um, has also just you know done even more than she needed to do for the project, um, Roxanne Blaze. Pretty much the second I watched um, both Crystal and Shemini's tapes, yeah, I there was like sort of no doubt in my mind that these were the two characters that I needed to to sort of portray this family. And then after I chatted to them as well, and we spoke a lot about um, the career in, in in like the specific terms of how people sort of live here and how um, teenagers mature here and how their relationships with their parents are and and sort of just about the timelessness of of the space. Um, yeah, it was just very apparent to me that that we were sort of on the same wavelength and that obviously makes my job easier as a director. And we've had we've had long discussions about the theme and, and the ending in particular, which obviously I can't say too much about because it, it is the precious ending. But yeah, I think it's just been, I've been very lucky and I'm very, very grateful that they're on board and, and it's just been fantastic working with them.